love doing just, drugs uh, at school. Mm. Mm. What's, what's that? Barbecue cool ranch? You gotta pull the trigger. Okay, you gotta pull the trigger. Oh, you gotta throw up, man. I can't okay. throw up, man. They keep Billy and died. You gotta throw up. Just think of something gross. Let's just finger each other's mouths. No. Yeah. No, you're not we got fingering to... my mouth. Do you wanna die? Do you wanna die? Okay, fine. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> When I heard that the late 80s TV show 21 Jump Street was being remade as a comedy starring Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum, my heart sank. The original 21 Jump Street was a gritty, sometimes downright dark show about a police division made up of baby-faced officers who would go undercover to solve crimes in high schools. Ostensibly a show for kids, 21 Jump Street explored risky topics like racism, gangs, drugs, alcoholism, rape, homophobia, and child abuse in a way that imparted lessons without being preachy, gory, or titillating unlike modern day police procedurals. And while it's known as the show that launched Johnny Depp's career, 21 Jump Street had a cast that would be considered extremely diverse even by today's standards. With the issues facing high schoolers today, a modernized 21 Jump Street that retained the gritty tone of the original series and took an unflinching look inside America's high schools seemed like fertile ground that could be the basis for several films. But instead, the 21 Jump Street movie has only two officers, both white men, and instead of using its premise as an opportunity to take a sober, possibly disturbing look at the lives of America's teenagers, it's only used for laughs. So when I sat down to watch 21 Jump Street, I wasn't just ready to hate this movie, I was eager to. But instead, something else happened. I found myself laughing. A lot. The film opens in high school where Schmidt, played by Jonah Hill, is a socially awkward nerd who's picked on by a good-looking meathead jock named Jenko, played by Channing Tatum. Several years later, Schmidt and Jenko meet again in a police academy where the two of them become an unlikely duo as Schmidt helps Jenko pass his exams while Jenko helps the pudgy Schmidt get in shape. After becoming officers, their youthful looks and immaturity get them transferred to the Jump Street program, where they're sent into their former high school to find the source of a potentially lethal new drug. So why does 21 Jump Street work so well? Much of the credit has to go to Tatum and Hill, who make a terrific odd couple. Schmidt is bumbling, cowardly, and socially clueless, while Jenko is handsome, physically adept, and intellectually deficient. But their childlike enthusiasm for being police officers and the sweetness and vulnerability of their friendship makes them surprisingly endearing, even as they do wildly irresponsible things like beating up high school students or supplying kids with beer and marijuana for a rager Schmidt throws at his parents' house. The supporting cast outperforms across the board, including Ice Cube as the captain of Jump Street, James Franco's younger brother Dave as the school cool kid, Rob Riggle as the PE teacher, Brie Larson as the down-to-earth student Schmidt falls for, internet star Dax Flame as a helpful nerd, and Ellie Kemper as a teacher with the hots for Jenko. And along with cameos from the cast of the original TV show, the film acknowledges and laughs at the fact that it's yet another in the long line of revamped 80s properties that prove Hollywood is largely out of original ideas. But 21 Jump Street is more than that, and as I watched the movie, it occurred to me that totally abandoning all but the kernel of the original concept was a pretty clever move. While the original show often had humor, it rarely mined an obvious idea that the movie embraces, that the Jump Street cops might actually relish the opportunity to return to high school and be the teenagers they always wanted to be. While it's sad to have lost all the things that made the original TV series so groundbreaking and interesting, it definitely wasn't for nothing, since the 21 Jump Street movie is surprisingly entertaining and definitely worth seeing. I'm going to be figuring out my rating system for future reviews, but please subscribe to this channel and keep coming back for more Rethink Reviews.